What's going on everybody? So a couple of videos back I shared with you guys about .OS and the features it has mostly from Android 12 and it is indeed quite stable in usage. So many of you asked me about how you can flash this on your OnePlus devices and I did not know that many of you will like it. Anyway, so without wasting any time, let's see how you can flash .OS on the OnePlus Nord. Also before going ahead, make sure to tap on that subscribe button and press that bell icon so that you don't miss out on the future videos from the channel. Now as far as features are concerned, you must be knowing it all and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then here is a card to the older video and you can check it out. So as far as performance is concerned, here are some benchmark scores on this room. First up the Geekbench scores, wherein this the device scores 601 in single core and 1821 in the multi-core score, which is decent enough for the first version. On Android 2, the device scores around 394,000, which is also fine if not the best. But the real world usage is what matters the most. And in that sense, I did not face any lags or performance issues till now. As even the charging time is close to 1 hour, which is even more on Oxygen OS. So the consistency in things is certainly here with this one. Overall, the animations and smoothness of UI is very good, and the UI it provides won't let you miss Android 12 on your device. The gaming performance has also been good so far with BGMI and it was fine for short gameplays that I did with this one. The heat up was well managed but there are some frame drops after some time which you might notice of course. But it's not unplayable or bad in any sense. It's just that over the time it will improve and things like a gaming mode does help in recording videos and more which we don't usually see in other custom rooms. You also get OnePlus camera app inbuilt with this one and that works fine like 90% of the time. But it did crash sometimes in the video mode which isn't a big deal as you can use a Gcam mod simply. Coming to the battery charts now and here things look decent overall. 6 to 7 hours of screen on time is what I get with some gaming and lesser if you play more games of course. And it's pretty much the standard as it varies as per your usage. Apart from this I did not face any other major issues and there are only minor hiccups here and there sometimes. Nothing major as such and for the first version it is pretty stable and usable. Now let's see how you can flash this ROM on your device. And for that you need a couple of things. First of all you need an unlocked bootloader. And if you have no idea on how to do that, I'll leave a link to that video in the description area. And here is a card to that as well. So you can check it out and it's really simple. So first of all download all the files from the description area. In the meanwhile you can just restart your phone in fast boot mode and you can do that by pressing the volume up, down and power key at the same time and it will show up a screen just like this. So if you have completed this step, well done, else you can just start over. Ok now it's time to install the ROM itself and first open the same folder that we had in the last step. Now just type cmd in the address bar and hit enter. Now in the command prompt type fastboot space boot space and now just drag and drop the image file here and just press the enter key or you can do it like fast boot space boot space name of the file dot img press the enter key now and you will see that it starts the device in recovery mode and if it doesn't just try again after this just click on apply update and now just click on apply from adb after this it is time to flash the rom zip file so in cmd now type adb space sideload space name of the file dot zip or just do it like adb space sideload and give another space and drag and drop the file here and press the enter key simply. It will start installing your ROM now so wait for 5 to 7 minutes until it installs the ROM file and once it's done just go back and click on factory reset option on your device. Now click on format and this will wipe all your data. So you just have to reboot to the system now. And it's done. You will now be taken to .OS 5.2 on your OnePlus Nord if you followed everything as I said. So this was a short way to flash .OS on your OnePlus Nord. And if you end up liking this video, make sure to press that like button and tap on that subscribe button for more videos like this one in future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.